Since part three is already taking way too long, over 10 minutes, we're going to just cut to the intro and jump right in. Here we go. Today, what, what I'm trying to do, I'm going to try to use the door um, as it is, but it's hollow and it lets in a lot of sound through it. We all know that density helps deter sound, the density of a material. So my idea is to, to put a little hole in the top of the door and pour sand in it. Fill slowly but surely fill it up with sand. Yeah, it might be a bad idea, but it's worth a try. All right, here we go. Got this, gotta make sure I get my safety goggles on. I made it through. You can see it's, I don't know if you guys can see it, I can see it smoking a bit. All right, let me take a peek in there. Ow, it's hot. Let's see how far this one goes in. Let's see, in about there. Oh man, that's too good. Long, that's too good. You might have been able to tell from the frustrated look on my face that I realized when when I was trying to drill a hole in that top of that door that there were chambers in it. The door wasn't completely hollow. So I had to come up with a new idea. Well, fixing that would, is simple because I just filled the hole with some putty. So what I did instead is I decided, since I still need a denser door to cover the hole for the door handle, I decided to use some MDF. This is three quarter inch MDF. Got it from Home Depot in two by four sheets. Got two sheets and I one of them, actually this is already two feet wide, so I was able to use one of them down to here. The other one I just cut to length and I was able to put them together right here. I actually adhered them. The door itself already has, it already has wooden supports around the edges. So I just used some screws to screw the MDF directly into the wooden supports. That's an easy way to revert it back to its original condition because whenever I move on from this booth I can easily just unscrew this and fill the holes that I made. As for sealing off the door I used some weather stripping all the way around the sides and the top of the door and for the bottom I actually because there was such a gap underneath actually on top of the carpet I just set a piece of maple a spare piece of maple that I had and I cut it to two foot length and I put a piece of weather stripping on the bottom that the way that I have it held in place is I have two screws, kind of like pocket joints, going at 45 degrees into door supports here. Two there, two here, to hold this in place so now it's really sturdy. Even if you step on it, it's not gonna hurt it. And it creates a perfect seal as the door is closed. Because I didn't want anything underneath the door that would rub off, especially if it's only held there by a little bit of adhesive. One problem with sealing the door is that now there's no hole here to open and close the door. So it makes it tricky to close the door tightly and to open the door. Let me show you what we did instead. Now I left the internal parts of the doorknob here. So that way it can still lock into place into the door frame right there. The doorknob, the way it works is that it normally pulls this little lever right here that I have a a wire wrapped around and I got some parts and I just jimmy rigged it. So that way I can manually pull on that. Let me show you up close what I mean. See it has that little mechanism there that when you turn the doorknob it causes that to pull and it causes it to open and close the door. So now all I have to do to close the door is simply give it a good push, a tight seal, and it's closed. And now to open the door we just pull the string or the wire and pull the door open. So that's the way we made a door so that way we can close it and seal off the sound, but it still can be opened and closed at will. So in order to get things connected in the booth here, 
I need to get power, data, USB, and two mic cables, one, two, and fro. Um, so instead of using the door, the door entrance, and putting a hole through the entrance, to, which will compromise the sound more, I think I'm gonna like the idea of putting a hole right up there. Um, I drilled a hole through the ceiling right there. I'm gonna wire everything through there. I've gotta feed these wires. I tried to do it just in a different way, but I've, it was hard to get it through that hole. Um, so I gotta feed them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like create this little bundle. That way they all fit as one unit. So I can get it through just enough so that it sticks out and then I can climb up there and pull it through. Let's try it out. Okay, I'm standing on the ladder now, trying to push it through. I put that USB cable through first because I knew that was gonna be the biggest thing. Ah, and this is working good. The tape is helping it all kind of go together as a unit. Not a good idea. Here we go. <sighs> The only way to get up there is to get up there. Okay. Come on, I'm gonna show you up here. Here's my opening. And this is where I put it all through, oops, sorry. So now I just need to pull it through. And let's take a look around where we are. See that's over there is where we need it to go. That's the opening to the other space where the interface is. So I just need to put it through the ceiling over there, drop it down in the right spot and plug it in. Okay, well now that I have it all wired up, all the wires in place, I'm just gonna fix them. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The wires are in there, but they could slip through because we've got excess over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie them down, kind of tie them off. And then there's a little bit of a hole. There's a little bit of a gap, some space. And I wanna fill that in with some silicone caulking to kind of block out as much sound as possible. I'm putting a Velcro tie on one of them. And then cinching it around all of them. That way they all can't, they're all stuck together and they can't just like pull through. Now, I'm gonna put some of that silicone in there. Okay, I'll check it out from the bottom too and see if there's any more I need to put from the other side. Kind of a tight fit. All right, well, now that I have everything wired through the ceiling, right next to the interface, which is right next to me behind the curtain, um, I need to get the male and female ends on here. I marked this one like so, so I know this is where the male um, connector goes. Now you guys get to see the soldering station in action. Well, that actually wraps up. That was the actual build process of this. We've got all the insulation put in place. We've got the door sealed off. And as you can hear, it's very quiet in here. It's great. I really like it a lot. To keep this video from getting too long, in the last video of this series, I'm going to show you a tour of this space. 
you're going to see exactly the way that I mounted things. Like, for instance, the microphone is mounted from the wall. One thing that I did was I installed some lights so it wouldn't look so boring in here. Let me show you. Create a little visual backdrop. That way it doesn't look so drab whenever I need to talk in this space. Some of the ideas that I've used here in this video, I've actually taken from some other people on the YouTube content space. And they've given me some great ideas by watching some of their videos and how they've actually built some vocal boots. I have a light up above me. And what color can I use to contrast? If you found something useful from this video, if it's helpful to you, go ahead and share with us down below. Tell me, what did you find helpful and useful that you could use? So that's what's coming up in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed. There's a red subscribe button if you, are, if you don't know about it. You push the subscribe button and ring the bell and that'll let you automatically get notifications when I create the next video and when that comes out. If you liked this video, please smash the like button. Thank you for taking some time to check out this content. If you want to find out more about me, go to lovelearnlivemusic.com. I'm Stevie. I'm sharing my journey with you to help you with yours. Until next time, have a great day.